Alright guys, we're back for another Dokkan Battle video. Alright, so, um, today, this is going to be the Mono Tech Run, uh, no item run here against the Legendary Goku event. Now, this is definitely a very odd team build. Uh, it's gonna take a lot of explaining. Tech, you know what's funny is that, like, I was looking at it and it's like, pretty much every other typing... If they had, like, okay, okay, so let's say the, the most, the strongest phase right here in the, in the Legendary Goku event is Int. I feel like every other typing would have had a significantly easier time taking down the final phase type disadvantage than Tech. The reason is that all of the Tech LRs are basically uh, sitting ducks against Int UI Goku, right? So, like, again, the game, no matter how people want to feel about it or anything, the game is run by LRs, and specifically summonable LRs, right? Look at all the LRs. LR Goku and Frieza. Amazing, fantastic unit, right? You know, by the time you get to, in, you know, UI Goku, they'll have the full key from their passive. You could lower his defense so I could get the mega ton attack and stuff like that. But he super attacks Goku and Frieza, and that's pretty much rip. Uh, Goku and Zama Goku Black and Zamasu, they suck. Super Saiyan 3 Goku, he sucks. Uh, Super Saiyan 2 Gohan, amazing unit, but I mean, even if he triple supers, gets a triple defensive buff, you eat a super attack from Inuai Goku, you're done. LR Vegito Blue, fantastic, um, but you know, if you were able to dodge in that final phase, you could sit him in slot number 3, he at minimum will be double supering, raising his defense twice, and then he could also dodge, which would be good, but he can't dodge, so, so if he gets super attack, he gets killed in there. Gohan and Goten, amazing unit. But at the very end, they're going to get killed. Jiren, really good defense. He gets killed against it, UI Goku, right? LR Tech Broly, same thing. Prime Battle Goku, same thing, right? Like, all the Tech LRs get incinerated to that final phase, right? And that's that's a real issue. You know, if AGL UI Goku in Evolution Blue Vegeta, you know, hell, even Physical 17 and Golden Freeza, like, all these units would be a little bit more adept at being able to take down the final phase in here. So, because of that, it's like... Dude, it, it takes a long time to get to that phase with this team build, but once I get to Int UI Goku, um, you know, uh, the defense of this entire team is going to be so high um, that we, we will be able to just tank him. Because it's like, the other thing too is because you have type disadvantage, you know, you could go in there with LR Goku and Frieza, you know, and you could easily have them like double super double crit and knock off like half of Int UI Goku's health bar. I think you could do that, but going to take a couple of tries right obviously like you know if you're going for like a speed run and you want to nuke uh the int ui goku at the end with like gohan and goten that works as well but just getting there and using no items it, it, it's it's just it's difficult a lot of these major tech units um are not like really up to snuff for the end of it now lr or um i was gonna say lr but uh tech ultimate gohan he is good He's good enough. He is the complete MVP, the star of the show. Now, he stacks up so fast, you guys will notice that I'm not really focusing on him. Um, until we get to Int UI Goku and we transform into Ultimate Gohan, for the most part, I try and push ult this tech Ultimate Gohan, the TUR, off rotation as much as possible. I'm trying to keep him out of the way. I don't want him to get hit before he attacks and get his full attack passive and then just be tearing through this event. Because the way I am going to beat this no item is by going mega slow and by stacking with all these units. Candy Vegito. This is the SSR for Tech Gohan. You know, this blue Vegeta is actually maybe the MVP because he's going to start creating tech, uh, tech orbs. Now, basically, I'm going to just super fast forward through the Tech Super Saiyan 2 phase, the AGL Super Saiyan 3 phase the tech god phase, and then the blue uh, EGL phase. I'm, we're going to super fast forward speed through those um, because it's just like, like already we're, we're like, you know, not going to be able to be damaged because we're just going to be stacking so much. Um, again, as much as possible, what I'm really trying to do is just to do as little damage as possible to Goku as we're going through, right? Because all these units we have on the team are stacking units. The two Trunkses will be able to stack. They stack up rather slow. Same with Blue Vegeta. Although Blue Vegeta is creating tech orbs. And if we're able to give Blue Vegeta tech orbs, his attack and defense will be monstrous, right? 
uh, Candy Vegito, another unit who gets a lot more powerful attack orbs. Um, but again, I try and like do as little damage as possible to this Goku until we get to the Int UI Goku phase. And then at that point, I'm going to go all out um, just because I need to stack up as much as possible because it's like 300k defense against Int UI Goku and he super attacks and we're still taking like over 200k damage. Like he just, he hits that hard, right? So it's like all of these characters, like I have to stack as much as possible, right? Candy Vegito, the Gohan, the Goku and Gohan. The other thing too about this team is a lot of these characters, I don't have highly link leveled, right? Like uh, Tech Gohan's SSR is like all level one links basically. Um, the Tech Blue Vegeta is actually almost done. I didn't even realize, I forgot, but I had been leveling him up uh, in 2020 to potentially help with the movie hero Super Battle Road, uh, like, no item run. I, I had forgotten about that. And I just looked when I was doing this, and it's like, he's only two links away. He All he has is two level nine links to finish him up. So I probably will just get him finished up, uh, maybe with, like, the next set of units, right? Uh, Candy Vegito is not level 10 links. Goku and Gohan are not level 10 links. Tech Trunks is not level 10 links. The only unit on this team that I have full level 10 links is actually the tech ultimate gohan that's it um all, all these other units you know are just not units that i really use too often um but a lot of them definitely have a lot of uses right well i'm surprised we still took 100k damage from god goku on that blue vegeta right here but again i you know blue vegeta is a nuking type unit so the more orbs he gets um the more higher his attack and defense are going to be and again, he is going to be the star of the show. Him and Tech Ultimate Gohan are going to be the two stars of the show. Because all of the, like, the entire team is stacking, right? So any Tech Orbs on the field at all, and we are going to be healing a lot, right? And especially, like, if that blue Vegeta gets a bunch of Tech Orbs, man, he could heal hundreds of thousands of HP for per turn for us, right? Um, don't forget as well that Tech Ultimate Gohan... Um, do, he is going to be super effective against all types, as long as Goku is above 58% HP as well. So at the start of the fight against Int UI Goku, we're going to be doing a lot of damage um, against him, right, with Tech Ultimate Gohan. Basically, what we're going to have to be hoping at that point is that Tech Ultimate Gohan is not going to be, uh, his attacks are not going to be dodged. We need his attacks to actually connect, or else we'd be in trouble. Um... So, I mean, I think everyone should pretty much understand what the purpose of all these units are on here. Keep in, I don't think I do it. I think I just play it ultra safe. But keep in mind that Tech Trunks, right? We could use his active skill um, against Int UI Goku. And he is super effective against all types uh, with the Spirit Bomb Sword version of him, right? Uh, but the only problem with that is it's, it's, again, it's very risky because he loses a lot of defense, right? So, the way the Super Saiyan Trunks works is that he has his start of turn attack and defense. He does stack attack and defense with every super attack as well. But then he also has this build up part of his passive, um, where I believe he builds up 10% attack and defense uh, for 8 turns, right? So, that's like 80% defense from his passive, along with the other sort of default numbers he has just go away. Yeah, so he has 120% defense at the start of turn, then he gets another 80% build up. So, Tech Trunks, after eight turns in Super Saiyan form, his passive is 200% attack and defense, and he's stacking, right? Obviously, that's good, as he's a Dokkan Festival exclusive with 17,000 attack and 12,500 defense. Very good. His stats are incredibly good. But once he goes into his Spirit Bomb Sword version, he loses all of that and becomes just 30% attack per orb and 10% defense per orb. Now, he still keeps his stacks, right? Like, the, the actual Super Saiyan uh, Trunks, like, super attack effects where he stacks attack and defense. He will still keep all that, but the problem is that Spirit Bomb Sword Trunks, like, if we're not able to get him a lot of orbs, he's a sitting duck. Uh, his design is kind of a little poor, in my opinion, because he gets... Like, like, I'm talking specifically about Spirit Bomb Sword Trunks. Because he's getting, like, no start of turn buffs whatsoever. And he only changes orbs once. And what he does is he creates tech orbs. That Trunks would be way better if he just was a rainbow orb changer every single turn. And it's like, you would you never are able to even transform into that f form until turn 5. So I do think it's still balanced, right? But that would help that guy out so much. Because the way he stands, like, 
the second turn after you transform, he really can be a sitting duck if you're unlucky with orbs, right? So that's why I think I do choose to pretty much never do the active skill transformation uh, once we do get to Int UI Goku at the end of this fight right here, right? Um, now, I guess I could go over a lot of different characters. This took, you know, I don't know, five to ten attempts. I was trying different builds, trying some characters. I tried with Goku and Frieza a couple of times, but I just got unlucky in where the enemy was aiming their super attacks, um, you know, and Goku and Frieza getting, like, you know like all the damage and stuff like that um i, I had a little bit of trouble because again if you're going to use goku and frieza you're counting on them getting crits with the massive huge damage but the other thing too is that you know everyone you know you you, you think of them you know with like you know 50 percent support tn on rotation and stuff like that blah 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 but it's like uh, you know what support type units are we rocking in here like 50 percent support tn is it possible to no item this with him on the team yeah it is but you're going to need god-level luck. It, it's just not something I wanted to attempt. Um, all right, now looking through here, I did actually try the LR Goku and Gohan. Um, they're the LR that you get from doing the uh, most recent 10 category Super Battle Road stages, right? Uh, that LR is good. They do stack defense on their 18 key super attack. Um, and then they also uh, do heal if they're the third unit in the rotation. And they do get, I think, five key as the third unit in the rotation. Um, but uh, when I tried with them, I did die. And it was not very consistent to even get them 18 key super attacks every single time. That's the weakness of that Goku and Gohan unit. Is they only stack defense on their 18 key super attack. If they stack defense on their 12 key super attack as well, they would have been a really good option for this. Um, many of the Dokkan Fest and stuff like that just wouldn't work very well here. You know who I could have tried, actually, would be the Tech Majin Vegeta, but I couldn't have used Double Trunks, because Trunks gives Future as his category buff, and then he also gives Super Class a buff. So I would not have been able to use Double Trunks if I was going to bring the Tech Vegeta, because remember, once he transforms into Majin Vegeta, he does become an Extreme Class unit, right? There's actually, like... People use that as an example of that Vegeta not being very good. Like, oh, that's a huge detriment. In truth, there's not that many situations where Vegeta going from Super Class to Extreme Class actually is a detriment. But this w would be one example, right? I wouldn't be able to use Double Trunks. Um, if I was going to use the Tech Majin Vegeta, honestly, him and then that Tech Blue Vegeta could be a pretty good pairing against Int UI Goku. Because the Tech Blue Vegeta could be, you know, putting the orbs on the field. And then with six orbs, Majin Vegeta is guarding, right? And then, of course, you know, he is then able to be super effective against all types, which would be very good for going up against Int UI Goku, who, of course, is going to have type advantage against us and stuff like that, right? Um, Tech Janemba actually is a unit that could help us out for sure. Uh, but, again, he needs orbs. It's like there's so many characters where it's like, yeah, in theory, they work, but... Are you going to be able to get orbs consistently every single time? No. You know who I could have actually done for this is Exchange Boo. Um, the only thing is, is there another Boo? Nah, Buff Boo. I would not have felt comfortable with Buff Boo against Int UI Goku. There's a Tech Super Boo, but he sucks ass. Um, I mean, the Tech World Tournament Perfect Cell, he's okay, but I don't know if using him as a partner with Exchange Boo is a good idea. And Exchange Boo does not even have Big Bad Bosses, right? Super Boo doesn't have Big Bad Bosses, which is a weakness for that unit. <sighs> That's the only thing. I mean, maybe Tech Super Boo and Janemba? I, I don't know. It's mm. See, Exchange Boo is in a tricky spot because the Tech Super Boo, right? You know, he's got the huge amount of damage reduction, and then he greatly raises defense for three turns on Super Attack. So that Tech Super Boo actually would be effective against Int UI Goku, but... The problem is just a mono tech, right? We don't really have a great partner for him. Uh, tech Vegito Blue, uh, he builds up his defense very slow. So I don't know that that really is like that realistic, right? Um, I don't know, man. <laughs> tech Vegito Blue. Because I remember I did a video. That was one of the first Legendary Goku event videos I did was, Oh, how is Tech Vegito Blue in the Legendary Goku event? And I got cream pie out of sight. Goku said, goodbye, you're gone. Um, now, by the way, our defense is very, very high for all these units. 
But again, if we get super attacked on anyone besides the ultimate Gohans, this SSR Gohan, by the way, still guards even as an SSR. That's why he's on the team. He, he doesn't greatly stack. He just normally stacks, but he also is still guarding, right? So he does still have some of the stuff that makes the tech ultimate Gohan, you know, the Z-Sword Gohan effective uh, in this type of run, um, that SSR does still have. So this is where the same name update definitely did help me uh, to get a successful run in right here. All right, so we're looking pretty good. Tech Trunks taking under 100k damage now from Int UI Goku. Looking at that, I probably could have gotten a little bit more ballsy and transformed then. But again, I, I decided to mostly play it safe against this guy. Because this guy, this is still one of the strongest enemies in the game. Like, easily, he is definitely still one of the most difficult to fight enemies in this game. Like, like Int UI Goku. It's just... Like, his reputation is tarnished because, you know, it takes 15 turns to get to him. And then you have all these units that have completely built up. So you get to him and you just shit stomp him, right? But if this is an opponent you are fighting turn one, he would be a tricky boy. He, he's still tough. So you do have to come at him correct, right? You can't just come in with some little pissy baby team. Like, we gotta be, like, you know, really, really ready to go here. Um, There are still some more units. Like, like Tech Kaioken Goku... He's another unit that potentially I could have used, right? Um, like, I didn't need to use the Tech Ultimate Gohan SSR to get this done, right? It's not like he's a necessity to do this. Absolutely not. Um, but him guarding, like, that guard ability along with stacking defense is just so powerful. All right, so Ultimate Gohan here, it is imperative that his attacks connect because that was a 4.67 attack stat, but it was super effective against all types. So he does huge amounts of damage compared to the rest of the team. The rest of the team basically needs to crit or else they do nothing to this guy, right? Like, look at this. Like, like I, he did, like, less than one-fourth of what Ultimate Gohan did right there. So it's like, uh, even though this Trunks has been stacking his attack the entire event, uh, it, it didn't really work out that well, right? Uh, and see, now, very quickly, we've sustained a huge amount of damage, but I imagine Vegeta is going to be able to save us right here, right? This Vegeta, yep, creating tech orbs. So we just have so many orbs available to us now. And then it's like, I could kind of utilize Gohan, right? Gohan is not going to get killed for sure. So we can go ahead and guard with him. And then Vegeta, look at this health. Bam, we're good. Like, Vegeta is actually the MVP. Like, I, I think this might have been the first run I did where I after I added Vegeta in the team and we won. Because I, I had, like, forgotten about him. Like, like I was just sort of, like, sort of going through my box. I was trying Kaioken Goku trying that LR Goku and Gohan. And then I remembered him. I was like, oh, wait, he's a stacker. Because uh, when I was building, like, trying out the physical team runs, um, I was like, oh, yeah, I got to use this physical blue Goku. And I was like, wait a minute, wait a minute. Th there's a, there's a, the counterpart, the, the tech blue Vegeta. And blue Vegeta definitely held his own here. Um, the fact that he healed up so much for us while creating those tech orbs, again, tech Vegeta really, really saved us. Because, like, without all those tech orbs... We might have died right there. And, and I mean, look how good defensively he is, too. Because not only is he stacking, but he also is a nuker. So it works out very, very well for him. Um, looking at other units that could be good here. Um, hmm. I mean, Golden Cooler only stacks attack. Uh, Tech Krillin would be good if it was a movie boss's enemy we were fighting. Because he'd have all that damage reduction. Tech Khalifa is a unit you could bring, but... Her defensive stacking is rather slow, is the problem. Tech Khalifa does not stack defense very fast, right? And, you know, she has guaranteed dodging in the entire event up till this guy, but this is the guy we'd want the dodging against, and she wouldn't even be able to dodge against him. And again, I don't even think that her defense would be high enough to really be able to contribute too much. Like, you know, she's going to get super attacked, and she's going to take 400k. Okay, this is huge! The fact that Gohan double supers right here... And both of them connect. He just does so much damage to Int-UI Goku. Look at that. Gigantic globs of this man's health just gone in the wind. So that was very helpful. Um, Yeah, dude. I'm just looking at a lot of these units. And it's like not a lot of characters could help. I think that there's the Tech Gohan, the Prodigal Warrior support. Or uh, Tech Goten. The Prodigal Warrior support Tech Goten. I mean, his stats do get very high once he's fully built up, but I don't know. Um, the Gohan and Piccolo is another unit whose stats can get very high once they've done all their attacks, but 
you know, I, I mean, they could work well with Goku and Frieza, potentially. Um, Tech God Goku is not a consideration. He would be if this Goku is a movie boss enemy, but again, he's not. So God, Go God Goku is, is a unit you use against movie boss category enemies, right? Uh, Candy Vegito, we are using. Again, his stacking is very good. I actually wish, dude, I wish a lot of these characters I had more highly link leveled. It definitely would have made things uh, much easier on me if, again, a lot of these characters were actually fully link leveled. Again, like, you know, right on this turn, we have no links active, but this should heal us up quite a bit. Yep, 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 pretty good, pretty good. So, again, that blue Vegeta sort of keeps us in the fight. Look at this, 30, turn 32, huh? This Gohan, by the way, has been stacking attack the entire event, and he's still at, like, a 1.3 million attack stat. So, that just goes to show how it's, like, a lot of these characters attack stacking just really is not that impactful. I mean, I, if, on Videl... It works really good because she's double supering every single turn. And if there's a Gohan on the team, she's greatly stacking attack as well rather than just normal stacking. But you guys get what I'm saying there. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it, dude. There's not... like, I, I feel like the new banner unit, Goten and Gohan, they work in here. Because depending upon the situation, they could you know get to like 400k defense and stuff like that. But there's not really a great tech GT unit sort of run them with in here like if Te tech super saiyan 4 gogeta had had his easy a by now like yeah like in the future that them as a pairing that as a rotation would probably work really well um tech super saiyan 4 gogeta slot one uh the gt goten and gohan in slot two i think that would be very very effective right um yeah that that's pretty much it uh again it, it tech did not really have the horses for this race. Oh, there is also the tech base Goku as well. Um, he, like, okay, so the, the this unit exactly right here on screen, this Goku and Gohan unit, his base form is Goku in the armor. He does stack defense as well. I definitely could have, I could have brought him on here. I mean, he would have been doing virtually no damage, but again, he does still stack defense. So I could have utilized him. Actually, I probably should have. I mean, I have him rainbowed in my box. This would have been, like, the one event where he really could have been impactful. Um, so, again, that basically covers... Uh, there's not a lot of tech units that could really help out that much in here. Um, like, Goku Black and Zamasu, uh, Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Like, it's time for their easy A's, right? Like, we, we need some better tech units. Like, honestly, looking at it, after doing these runs, I feel like tech is the weakest typing. Like, if you, you just in general, like... Extreme AGL, Super AGL combined, you know, Super Tech, Extreme Tech combined, Super Int, Extreme Int combined, you know, Super SCR, Extreme SCR, and then Super Physical, Extreme Physical. I'm pretty comfortable saying Tech is the worst. I think so. A, a lot of it is Extreme Tech. They just have literally never given good units to. At, outside of, like, LR Tech Broly, they just, like, never were like, all right, here's good units for Extreme Tech. They're just like, nah, fam, you're good. All right? And it's like, you look at all the other typings, they've just gotten massive buffs, right? The GT, Goku and Vegeta for Int and Physical. You know, Int, in the last several months, has gotten sucked off so hard. LR Evolution Blue Vegeta, Int UI Goku's Easy A, um, LR Android 17 and Team Universe 7, Int Super Gogeta's Easy A, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, Dokkan Fest, Int Broly, the Int Super Saiyan GT Vegeta. That's just the last six months, dude, right? Whereas, like, you look at Tech. What has Tech gotten in the last six months? Uh, they got Super Saiyan 2 Gohan, who's really good. They got Janemba, who sucks. He's fodder. Not actually, but you guys get what I'm... You understand what I mean by that. Um, like, that's it? Uh, yeah, like, the net... We need... <laughs> we need a Dokkan Fest baby who's Tech and super good. And then we need, like, a... You know, I don't know... Super 17 arc, Super Saiyan 4 Goku or something like that, who's super good. That's what we're going to need. Because um, uh, Tech is definitely, right now, I would say, in the worst spot. But, I mean, a couple of easy A's. You know, Tech Vegito Blue is easy A. Uh, LR Goku Black and some monsters easy A. Like, uh, all it takes is a little bit, and all of a sudden the team is going to be absolutely crazy, right? So, here we go. Let me know what you guys think of this run. Um, again, I sped it up because uh, this was a very, very long run. You know, turn 35 plus or whatever. It's stacking. Uh, again, let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching, and I will catch you all next time.